The Country Mouse and the City Mouse, told by Patricia Scary. Annie Mouse lived quietly in the country. One day, her friend from the city came to visit her. Annie was delighted. Melissa, dear, welcome to the country, she said. Do come in. Annie Mouse asked some of her friends in for lunch. But Melissa did not eat one nibble of the meal Annie proudly served. In the city, I dine on spice cake and wine said the city mouse rather grandly in the city i have a machine that plays music and i dance on a velvet carpet said melissa annie won't you leave this dull country life behind me and come to the city with me my it does sound tempting said annie so annie rode off to the city with her friend honk honk beep beep toot toot please drive slowly begged annie can't hear a word, screamed Melissa. Isn't it marvelous fun? Melissa's home in the city was beautiful. And they had such to explore. Gaily they ran down the hall. Suddenly, woof, barked a fierce, angry dog. Help, it's the dog, squeaked Melissa. And the two friends ran, shaking with fright. They slammed the dining room door just in time. The poor country mouse almost fainted with fear. But Melissa said, Oh, he chases me all the time. Come, Annie, climb up on the table beside me. Have you ever seen such food? Never, gasped Annie, shaking with fright. There were dainty bits of spice cake and fine cheese and even a drop of wine in the glasses. Oh, I'm seeing things, squeaked Annie suddenly. I see a cat. It is a cat, cried Melissa. Run! Run! They slammed the living room door just in time. Oh, sobbed Annie. I have never been so frightened. Nonsense! You'll get used to it, said Melissa. There! I've put out my music machine. Would you care to dance? No, thank you, said Annie, and she started to run. Annie, where are you going? called Melissa. Home to the country, squeaked Annie. Goodbye, Melissa. Thank you for the very nice time. Oh, help. Oh, oh. The little mouse ran through the city. She ran and ran and ran, and she did not stop until she was safe in the quiet green country. That night, she told her gentle friends, I would rather lead a simple life in peace than dine on riches and live in fear. The End <laughs>